So I stumbled across this box in storage. It speaks for itself. I uh, packed it up when I packed up the museum, and I pulled aside some clothes and some goodies that I plan on selling. So I thought maybe I'd give you a preview of it before we start selling it. Everything in here should be new with tags. This should be interesting. I haven't looked at this stuff since I packed up the collection. So we got a Nike sportswear t-shirt right here. Nothing too special, just a black and white Nike sportswear shirt. Let me see if I can get this box out of the way and then we'll be able to see some of the items a little bit more. There'll definitely be some goodies in here. I'm sure most of it'll be new with tags and probably size large, which is what I wear. Here we go is a green long sleeve Nike pinwheel shirt, new with tags. It says a bunch of cool stuff like 1972 and Hayward, Hayward Fields where Nike got started in Eugene, Oregon, where the University of Oregon is located. Cool little details right there. Here is a similar long sleeve zip up. Also has that pinwheel, little 3M detailing by the zipper right here. Again, size large. You can see down here the bleachers at Hayward Field. Actually, you can see that here on this one as well. Very iconic. Steve Prefontaine ran by those bleachers. Bill Bowerman coached. Check this out. Here's a t-shirt. I love air. Actually, it's I Nike shoe air. But this is a really cool shirt. Uh, I've got a couple of these actually. They go great with this Air Max day, which is coming right up on March 26th. Last year on March 26th, Nike decided to make a holiday out of the Air Max One's birthday. And this will be the one year birthday of that holiday. Over here, another t-shirt, Air Force 25. The legacy continues. These shirts are all size large. This came out for the 25th anniversary of the Air Force One. A lot of really cool limited edition Air Force Ones were coming out and Air Force 25s. There's a lot of NBA players here dressed up with Air Force Ones. There's LeBron right there, front and center. Let's keep on working our way through this box. We've barely even dented it. This is cool. Nike Loop Wheeler. If you don't know about Loop Wheeler, look it up on YouTube. It's this amazing manufacturing technique in Japan where they use only the finest fleece and they can only make a handful of these hoodies each day because it takes a big giant factory and all of these crazy looms and a bunch of craftsmen's work to put together a few of these hoodies. I think it says that they make like eight of them in a day or 12 of them in a day. They're crazy expensive. Also new with tags. Here's a vintage Nike long sleeve shirt. This one's not new with tags. Um, it sort of reminds me of the original Air Pegasus from 1983. Look, you can have a look at that vintage tongue right here. See where this was made just for fun. Doesn't say made in the USA. Yeah, this is definitely vintage right here. This would command a nice little premium up for auction. Let's keep on going. Ooh, we got another loop wheeler item. Check this out. Here's that loop wheeler tag right there. These are a pair of sweatpants. They say number 24 on there. I believe that's a nod to Kobe Bryant, who was actually modeling these things when they came out years ago. These sweats are probably about five years old. See, you got this authentic loop wheeler tag right there. All this stuff is going to be new with tags. Let's keep on going. Here's a goodie, an Air Jordan jacket. Also new with tags. This one's a medium. Sometimes I bought my Jordan stuff in a medium because it runs a little bit bigger. But cool jacket with elephant print air on the back. Elephant print going down the sides. Let's see what the inside looks like here. Just black breathable material. If this was a $120 Air Jordan jacket, probably went with the Fire Red 3s, would be my guess. Let's keep on going. 
Wow, these are crazy. Elephant print shorts. These were Nike SB shorts. They're elastic too. They're almost like a swimsuit. They have this liner in here, but they're not. They're SB shorts. You can see the Nike SB little logo right there. Pretty cool. Let's keep on going. This is a crazy item. Another one with that Air Force One anniversary. They made like a ski jacket, Air Force One style. Look, you can see the stars right here. Size medium, this one also ran a little large. But this is like a really heavy duty jacket. I think it retailed for about $400. Look how plush it is inside here. MP3 compatible. A lot of these jackets from this time, you could put the MP3 player in a pocket and then you could line the wiring through the sleeves so that it seemed like it was wireless. Let's keep on going. Here's another jacket. This one's crazy. This was a $500 jacket also from that Air Force One era. It's a black leather bomber jacket. It says Air Force right there. Air Force One on the sleeve. Lists off some players that wore Air Force Ones. Malone, Nat, Cooper, Wilkes, Jones, Thompson. Let's see what the back looks like here. It says the original. So th those were the six original players that wore Air Force Ones. This jacket's a size large. Again, it was 500 bucks. Here's another jacket. Appetite for Destruction, Guns N' Roses, Nike SB jacket. Access pass, pretty cool. The inside of this jacket's awesome too. Has that gradient pattern, sort of like the Appetite for Destruction album. Nike SB release right here, new with tag, size large. This was on display next to the Appetite for Destruction shoes alongside the November Rain shoes in the music section at the Shoeseum. Here's a cool item. Ken Griffey Jr. Seattle Mariners, authentic jersey, size large, nice and stitched, heavy lettering here. See the back right there? Griffey, number 24. This was on display in the cross training section alongside Griffey's signature line of shoes. Let's keep on going. We're almost through this box here. And we have another jacket Let's check it out right here. Nice little zip up jacket right here. Size large. Cool little logo on the side right there. This might be lacrosse. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see if there's anything that gives away anything on the other side. Not really, just that Nike. Maybe somebody out there knows what this logo is. My guess is lacrosse. It could be something tennis related. I'm not exactly sure. And let's see what else we have. Ooh, check this out. Nike SB hat, elephant print, brown. This would probably go, go great with the De La Soul highs, the original one, and then the low that's coming out in May. And then of course, check that one out. The gray elephant print Nike SB hat. For a while they were doing all sorts of accessories with elephant print including belts and hats and iPod cases, wallets, things like that. And then the last thing we have right here is a little mini box and in it are some socks that are the Reese Forbes denim dunks. Those were actually the last dunks that I needed to complete the what the dunk set and for a while I just sort of had the sock sitting there taunting me, reminding me that I needed to find the Reese Forbes denim. Eventually I found those, so I don't need the socks anymore. Anyway, all of this stuff's going to be for sale. If you're interested in any of it, leave a comment for me, and maybe we can work something out before I put this stuff on eBay or Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this random unboxing of clothes to sell from storage.